This is the eighth part in a series of Introduction to APL. This one is related to selection functions. Selection functions are functions that allow you to select specific elements from an array. For example here, if we want to take the n first elements of an array, we use the function take, which is the up arrow in APL, which is found on the control y key on the keyboard. Take takes the first n elements of an array. For example, if A consists of six elements, doing a two take on A will return the two first elements. If n is negative, it will take it from the end. So if you do minus three take, it takes the last three element of the vector. Drop is similar. Drop down arrow an array where down arrow is the control U key on your keyboard, will drop the first n elements of an array. Likewise, if n is negative, it will drop from the end. Here's an example of using drop. There are many ways to find the difference between pairs of numbers in a list of numbers, but here is one way using drop. Given any vector, what we want to do is take this number and subtract it from this one. Then we want to take this number and subtract it from this one. And then this number and subtract it from this one. And so on and so on. So basically what we want to do is take these five numbers and subtract them from these five numbers. So this, these five numbers are actually a minus one drop of the array and these five numbers are the actual one drop of the array. So if we do minus one drop of the array minus the one drop of the array we end up with the difference between each pair. Compress is another selection function where S is a selection boolean vector that compresses out an array. A Boolean vector is a vector of 1 and zeros only. Everywhere S contains a 1, the corresponding element is selected. Where there is a 0, it is excluded. So for example here, the selection vector contains 5 elements, where the 1's indicate where you want to keep the corresponding element. And here we have a vector of 5 elements also, the same number of elements, from which you select the elements. Here's an example of using compress. If we want to find the account with balances greater than, say, 1,000, then given the balances here, and given the accounts, we can find which balance is greater than 1,000. S will return a 1 for 2,000 and 5,000. And then we use it to compress the accounts, so it will return us the accounts for which the balance is greater than 1,000. Indexing. This is another selection function. I represents the element's desire. For example, if you want the second element of a vector of 4 here, using 2 will return the second element, which is a 3. Likewise, if I have a vector and I pick a certain number of elements, for example here the fifth one, the third one, the sixth one, and again the sixth one, this will pick the fifth one, which is a 2, the third one, which is a 0, the sixth one, which is a 1, and the sixth one again, which is a 1, so we'll end up with 2, 0, 1, 1. Selection functions can also be applied to higher rank arrays like matrices. For example, let's use matrix A, which is a 3 by 4. Take can be used on matrices by specifying the rows and the columns you want to take. For example, here, we want to take the two first rows and the two first columns of A. So we can see here that we actually want to pick two columns, two rows. If N is negative, just like in the case vector, it takes from the end. So here we want to take the last row and the first three columns. Drop is similar. You want to drop the rows and the columns. In this case here, we're dropping the first two rows and the first two columns, and we end up with a 1 by 2. 
If n is negative, we draw from the end, same thing. Here we draw up the last row and the first three columns. We end up with a two by one. Compress can also work on matrices. S must be a vector of the same width as the matrix. For example, here, A is a four column matrix. Since S contains two ones, in the, we end up with a three rows and two columns matrix. Compress can also work on rows, but in this case, you gotta use a different character. In this case, it's the slash bar. And the slash bar is located on the same symbol as the slash, usually on the US or UK keyboard. But you have to use control slash to get it. In this case, the selection vector must be as long as the first dimension, which is the number of rows in the matrix. So here we pick the first and the last row, and we end up with a 2 by 4 Here's an example. A is assigned 3, 4, reshape, I get to 12. A is that. So if I do a 2, 2, take of A, I get the section here. 1, 2, 5, 6. If I do a 2, 2, drop of A, I get, I drop these, and I drop these. So I'm only left with these two here. And actually, if I take the shape of this, you see that it's a one by two. I can also drop from the end, and the shape of that is a two by one. If I compress a, I get the first row and the last row. I can also do it on columns and I get a 3 by 2. I can combine them. Indexing can also work on matrices. You have to separate the rows and the columns by a semicolon. Here R represent the rows and C the columns. So for example if you pick the first row and the third column you get element, in this case 13. If we want to pick two rows and two columns, we will end up with a two by two matrix. So to recap, selection functions allow you to select elements from any array. Take and drop allow you to select contiguous sections of an array. Compress allows you to select individual elements in the order they appear. And finally, index allows you to select individual elements in random order. That's it.